Hello, Dr. Yogendra. Hello, sir. Uh, can you introduce yourself? Sure, sir. I am Yogendra Krishniya, currently enrolled in the sixth semester in the Royal Metropolitan University and I belong to India. All right. Dr. Yogendra, what do you have for us today? Uh, today we are here to discuss myositis ossificans. All right. Now, how will you define myositis ossificans? Uh, myositis ossificans is basically an abnormal bone growth in the soft tissue like muscles. Well done. All right. Dr. Yogendra, what is the etiology behind uh, myositis ossificans? Myositis ossificans is more common in young males and in athletes and in patients of uh, bands and paraplasia and also uh, uh, patients undergoing traumatic injury. All right. Now, uh, what you have said, according to this, is, are there any types for myositis ossificans? Yes, there are two types based on the uh, pathogenesis. Mm -hmm. uh, one is the known hereditary uh, and other is the uh, hereditary. The known hereditary myositis ossificans is due to traumatic injury. Where is the no? Uh, where is the hereditary myositis ossificans? Is do, it's it's it is an autosomal dominant disorder uh, associated with the gain of function of bone morphogenic protein four, which is located on chromosome fourteenth. If a patient comes to you in the OPD, how would you recognize uh, this myositis ossificans? Uh, since I have already told in myositis ossificans there is a growth of uh, bone uh, in the muscle tissue, so there is a uh, lump formation. This lump initially is fastly growing and it's painful on touch and we can feel the warm uh, warmth around it and uh, it's swollen and feel tenderness what and also uh, in uh, in subsequent uh, time uh, its growth increases and if it's near the uh, joints so it can reduce the uh, movements all right and what best investigation you would like to do in such patient uh, on radiography, uh, we can uh, appreciate the circumferential calcification along with the central lucent and on histological examination, we can see three different zones based on the cellular proliferation. Uh, first is the inner zone. In this, there are proliferating fibroblasts along with multi-nucleated giant cells which resembles nodular fasciitis. In the intermediate zone, there are scattered chondrocytes uh, appreciable. And in the peripheral zone, there is osteoid uh, calcification, which lead to laminar bone formation. Is this bo uh, disease treatable? Yeah, it's treatable uh, if it's due to trauma. All right. And how will you treat that patient? Uh, we can ask the uh, patient to take proper rest and um, apply icing on the uh, lump. And also if uh, he's suffering from pain, so we can use an NSAIDs and painkillers. And uh, we can use uh, elastic bandage to decrease the swelling. What is the prognosis for this uh, disease? Since there are two types, so for both types, the prognosis is different. Uh, in case of non-hereditary myositis ossificans, the prognosis is good. Whereas in case of hereditary myositis ossificans, the prognosis is poor. What best differentials do you have in your mind? Uh, there are, I would like to uh, tell three differentials. Uh, there, this is osteosarcoma, uh, fibrous dysplasia and uh, nodular facetis. Excellent, Dr. Yuginder. Thank you for your valuable time and sharing valuable concepts. Thank you very Welcome, much. Sir, I appreciate it. Thank you.